Hi, um, I'm going to show you guys a Minecraft tutorial. This is like my way, how I play. And um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just grabbing these pumpkins. But first things first, I started this world with like a random seed, so you don't have to put in anything. And I got here. So what I always like to do first is grab a tree. And usually you'll spawn in an area with trees, but if you spawn in a different biome, like a mesa biome, you might not get trees, so you just sort of have to travel out of that or find a tree somewhere else. But Yeah, so first you want to get wood. I like to chop down the whole tree, but this one's a little big. It's okay to leave some trees floating. I usually got like four or five wood planks here. So once you got your wood planks, just craft and now you can right click and make a crafting table. Right click, right click twice. Oh, whoa, what are you doing? Yeah, so you're going to want to make a crafting table with four wooden planks and a square. And once you do that, you're sort of good to go. You want to, you don't have to get out your crafting table. Oops. But what you do is right click once. Oops, I accidentally should did it twice. Right click here. That makes sticks, and sticks are helpful because they can help you make tools. Two, two. So you want to usually make eight sticks, maybe 12, but I just make eight. Let me these up. So, you're going to open your crafting table. This is a time when you need it. You don't need to just press E like inventory. Oops, let me show you guys the controls. So, these are just all the controls. Default for Minecraft. I changed this stuff, but... Usually this would be F to swap an item with offhand. Um, I changed these because I don't really do that stuff. This stuff's the same. To take a screenshot, I don't really take screenshots. I just put it as left slash, I think. And then to talk on my perspective, I did F. So those are my controls. If you want to know. So you open your crafting cable with right click. Right click once, right click twice. I use your planks to make sort of like a flat area, like this. That's a wooden pickaxe. You can use this to mine stone. This, this is like wooden pickaxe. Wooden pickaxes are really important. And stone can be found if you get lucky. Underground. If you get lucky and find a cave. Let me show you guys how to make the other tools. So, stick and two planks, sword. I usually just make pickaxe because you can get stone tools really easily. Um, one, two sticks and two planks. Hoe, it doesn't really matter which side you do. You could do this for an axe or this. And then for the shovel, you do just like that. So those are all how to make the tools. And if you want to make stone tools, you can just replace the wood here with stone. Um, so yeah, it's like useless making a full set of wooden tools. You're you're probably not going to use them. And so once you find some stone, you can also dig down. Even though like there's a rule in Minecraft, you shouldn't really dig down. But if it's just five blocks, it's okay. Anyways, once you got stone, you can get. Usually, I like to get free stone. And guess what we're gonna make? Yep, a stone pickaxe. Here's a time when like more sticks might come in handy because you're going to make your stone tools now and ditch the wooden tools. And like if if you know if you know don't just drop them because they could actually be helpful. If you're making like 
um, the trophy room, like first wooden pickaxe ever, that would be a reason why you would. Well, that would be a reason why you would want wooden tools. But another reason is that you can use them in a furnace to smelt things, and that actually is really helpful later. Let me find another place to get stone. The skeleton doesn't like me. Hmm, I'll just dig down. So, just dig down. Oops. That's a different type of stone called granite. I'll just mine for red until I get to a stone. Oh, look. Wow, we found coal. It's really nice. So, coal is what most players use to smelt items. But that's why a wooden pickaxe could come in handy if you don't have coal and you want you need something to smell like food, iron, ore, which is another ore that you can find. So, yeah, coal is really helpful. So now it looks like I got all the stuff I need to make my stone tools. So let's just do that. So, the stone is like, same as wood, I make, I put two here, one here, like that, it makes an axe. You can hover over it to see how much damage it deals once you craft it, so, let's just craft it. See, this axe has 9 attack damage and 0 to 8 attack speed, which basically means it's, it's slower to attack. And see, you can, like, see how it, it disappears when you hit it, but below your plus, in the middle of your screen, there's something under it. It's like the reload thing, and it'll pop back up once that's done. And if you hit again, the reload will reset, and you'll also deal less damage to what you're trying to attack. So, it's better to just hit once and wait till you reload. And after that, you're going to, like, you might find some animals if you're in a good place. So, either take out your axe or make a sword. I usually make swords here. And, yeah, if you have a tool, you can just hover over it. See, it doesn't have to be in your first nine slots. See, you can hover over here to see how fast it is. So, it looks like this stone sword has double the attack speed the sheep or the axe has. See, look how it goes much faster than the axe. So the swords, also, swords can deal, like, splash damage. So if there's two targets, like mobs, which are, like, animals, um, then you can hit both of them at once. They'll, like, it'll split the damage between them, so it's really good. And another thing you can do is if you jump, and hit the enemy while you're on the way down. It's called a critical hit, and it does it does up to half more damage. And it's really good against enemies because you can one shot some enemies like sheep if you crit hit them with a stone sword and you get lucky enough for it to deal maximum damage, which I didn't both of those times. But, well, I found a stone, a stone place, so I'm just going to mine some stone here. And the reason I'm doing this, you might think I don't need any, but there's actually something called, you know, the furnace? Yeah, you can make a furnace with this. Like this. So you craft it. You place it down with right click. You put your coal right here, or a wooden pickaxe if you don't have any. And then, you don't really have anything good to smelt besides just raw mutton over here, so you want to put that in the furnace, and you're on your way to getting food. If you look at the bottom middle, I guess, um, you can see my hunger bar. And if the hunger bar gets down to zero, you'll take damage from starvation. You're starving. It won't kill you, but it can if you're on harder difficulties. Um... Yeah, so if you just follow these guidelines and rules, once you do this, you can dig into some stone and, like, make a little home for you. And if you want, like, you know you can't see in there, so 
you want to make some 